Hey everybody, all oh, hi guys are here. Hope everybody's having a pleasant um, weekend here. It's Sunday, we're right at the end of our fourth section, starting up our fifth section. I thought maybe I'd take a little bit of time to chat about what we just did and what we're about to get into. So most of last week was about distinguishing between the, the technical components of a research proposal, which include purpose statements and uh, objectives and hypotheses and the such. And we spent quite a bit of time taking a look at what the, those specifically are through both synchronous um, lectures and asynchronous lessons. Um, we took a look at um, uh, why understanding the differences makes such a big difference in proposing your, your project. And um, we had a little bit of practice in putting together some purpose statements, um, some for the quantitative, some for the qualitative. Now, as we move into this next week, we're going to be um, shifting gears much more into the, the creation of our capstone proposal project. Now, you're not going to be conducting your, your uh, research uh, at this point, but you're going to be learning quite a lot about um, survey designs and um, interview designs or narrative um, study design uh, models. You'll take a look at various styles and approaches as well. And the, the idea there isn't so much to get you to start the research, it's, it's more to include um, what it is that you think you'll need to do in your proposal. Right? So the idea is for you to learn about the various kinds of research that you can um, conduct. And we've already started looking at all that, like multi-genre uh, projects, you know, quantitative or qualitative or grounded theory or uh, ethnographies and things of that nature. Generally speaking, though, as I've already mentioned several times, the capstone projects tend to be either narratives or uh, multi-genre uh, projects. And so that's what you're going to be reading this week. Now, take special note that the reading requirement is in Chapter 5 of Cresswell. Um, this next week, we're going to skip forward to Chapter 12 and Chapter 15 of the current edition of Cresswell um, about survey designs and narrative research designs. And uh, again, as I said, the idea isn't going to be so much for you to, you know, take that content and start designing your, your surveys. It's uh, much more about giving you ideas and, and uh, big picture information for you to include in your proposal as you are suggesting um, how it is that you're going to conduct this research. It's a little confusing, I'm sure, maybe not for some, but we can definitely spend some time clarifying that on our Monday evening lecture. Hopefully I'll see you all there. Now, if you have any questions, please contact me. I believe I'm all but caught up at this point for uh, both the online and the um, technically on ground, but synchronous course, I should say. If uh, you need anything, please message me, text me. It's a summer school week for me. This is our first time, actually, the kids are coming back for the, in the last 18, 19 months almost. And so teachers are nervous and the students are nervous, of course, because it's all on grounds instruction, but we have heavy, heavy COVID restrictions. And so it's going to be a busy week for this fella. At least the first couple of days will be. But um, it's going to be a pretty busy week for you guys, too, because from here on out, the mode of um, uh, production here should be about focusing on your capstone. Now, this week, you're going to be doing your first major write up, which is uh, about seven or 10 pages um, as you prepare to submit your mini literature review. And the good news is that um, you've already conducted your annotated bibliography, so you can work right off of that. Now, Mind you, it's not about copying and pasting your bibliography, and it's not just about rewording your bibliography either, but we'll talk a little bit about that in class Monday. Um, again, hope you guys are having fun, and uh, it's it's time to hunker down and, and uh, get that capstone project proposals drafted up. All right, hope to see you Monday.